I need to know what's on your mind today. Okay, it's not about the topic, it's about what's on your mind. And everybody needs to know what's on your mind because nobody actually asks this question, what's on your mind today? They hypothesize what is on the minds of women, but they don't, they don't really ask you this question. And then they will post what's on your mind and that's why the, the, the title of my book is called Leadership by Proxy because everybody's proxying for you every day. But I think productivity with um, you know, increasing AI and work from home has been a very important point. And you know, it's something that, that is obviously on a lot of the minds of women because they are the ones who benefited most from work from home. And in addition to productivity, we need to put in the trust element, the culture of the company, and the trust element. Um, it's clearly up to us to change the numbers. The numbers are not going to change on their own. We have to take every opportunity we get. If there is a board seat and it's available for you, please take it. And we will continue to do the will board certification so that we can continue to escalate your minds on how the board seat is for you. You know, this whole corporate governance is not about other people. It's about you. How are you going to get onto the board and how are you going to change the board agenda? SDG 5, the gender equity, has got to be part of the dashboard on ESG. This blind spot has to be changed. We cannot just keep on doing ESG 17 sustainable development goals minus one. That minus one has got to be put back on the dashboard. And so the care economy and corporate governance is going to be part of our 2024 agenda and I'm not gonna let it go. A point about the unpaid work of women on care and how important it is for GDP and how companies need to actually take it as a board agenda. Solidarity, you know, you've got to, you've got to support each other and if you can't, it's okay, just stand by them. You've got to, the women have to stand by the women. You may agree with them, you may disagree with them, you may be able to support them or not, but you've got to be standing in solidarity. I think there is no excuse. And last and but not least, please don't be happy with toffee culture. Okay, these little peanuts and toffees that are thrown at the women as small things that we are doing to fix it for you, it doesn't get fixed that way. You've got to put the women on top. You've got to show that you're escalating the women. You've got to show you're advancing the women. You've got to show you're giving power to the women. And if you don't do it, we're gonna do it ourselves. Can't wait. Can't wait, you know. Um, two, three things, and I say equal representation. One of my hashtags is equal representation. I don't mean it should be equal, but we must think along those lines. We cannot go on saying that it's changing slowly. It's not possible to be so to be so uh, victim-minded that you know I'll take what I get. We are not lacking in anything. We have engineers, chartered accountants, um, advocates, you know, business operations, ESG experts. Not lacking in any way. So you know, I I uh, encourage you to please change your mindset. You cannot change the mindset on the other side until you change your own mindset and unleash your power on a daily basis. I keep saying this in every one of my mentoring series. You have to do it every day. You have to reboot every day. You can't say I rebooted yesterday, so today I'm not.